So I recently sent out another worship leader from my worship ministry. And even though he's a very experienced worship leader, this is his first time being the one in charge, the one who's responsible for leading and developing his team. So he's been asking me questions and we've had multiple conversations about my experience of stepping into similar situations where people were looking at me to, to lead them. And one of the things I told him to do before he did anything else was to develop his purpose statement. In my experience, it's best to start with your purpose so that you can lead your team through the vision and mission of your ministry. This is the why, the what, and the how at the core of your ministry. And honestly, as I was telling him all these things to do, I realized that I could take some time. I could afford to spend a little time to do a little overhaul or a refresher at my purpose statement in my worship ministry. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So whether you're like him who's stepping into a new role or you're like me and you're thinking I need to clarify and solidify some things so I can lead my teams better, you won't want to miss today's video. So stick around. Hey, worship leader, welcome back to the channel. On this channel, we talk about three things, three things that I'm passionate about. How to pastor your people, we talk about gear related to worship ministry, and we talk about things like we're talking about today, which is how to lead your teams better. In my experience, when thinking about these three topics, usually one of them needs more work than others. And so today we're gonna be talking about how to lead your teams well, and I wanna set you up on the right path from the experience that I've had working in worship ministry for years. Hey, real quick, future Jimmy here. I just got done recording this video and I realized I forgot to say it's been one year since I've been on YouTube, one year since I uploaded my first video and I'm celebrating this week and I need you to help me out with something. I'm gonna be doing an AMA, Ask Me Anything video and I need your help and I recorded the end where I talked about it so make sure you stick around to the end of the video and hear what I asked you to do. Okay, back to it. Like I said in the intro, I sent out another worship leader and we've been talking about developing our purpose statement. And the reason we wanna start with this is so that we can filter everything we do through that statement. This helps bring clarity to you as a leader and it also gives people confidence to follow you. And of course, when you're helping other people, there's always a side effect that they end up helping you too. That's one of the benefits of mentoring. You pour into somebody, but you always learn from them too. So never think that you know everything. Everyone has something to learn from somebody. And so since I was helping him set up his purpose statement for his ministry, I thought, man, I really need to tighten up mine. Because as I've been thinking about it, I've had a pretty generic sense of where our worship ministry is going, but I've never really been good at writing it down and and clarifying it for my team. And I think that is very helpful when you're leading people to give them something they can hold on to, something that they know, hey, this leader is leading me here. This is where we're going. So I've spent the last few days thinking about my purpose statement and I wanted to share it with you. I wanted to share the, the process of my thought process and I might even change some things, but this is what I have down on paper now in hopes that it would help you. So let's dive in. But before we do, I have a quick question. Does your worship ministry have a purpose or mission statement? And if you do, do you mind writing it in the comments below? I personally would love to to see it and I hope that others who are reading the comments could get some clarity and maybe some inspiration from what you do at your church. Now I've been using the word purpose statement for a reason but that's not the only thing we need to do. We also need to develop our vision and mission statement. Now if you're like me you're probably thinking well I've heard all of those terms before but I don't know exactly what he means by each of those. I don't know what the difference is between them. And that's okay let's clarify what we mean by the three terms purpose, vision, and mission. Now the first word is purpose and when we think about purpose we're thinking about the why. Why do we exist? And as worship leaders, we're thinking about why does our worship ministry exist? Now, if you're leading a worship ministry, most likely you're in a church setting and most churches already have a purpose statement or sometimes they may call it a mission statement. That's okay. It's kind of the same thing, but we are differentiating the two for a reason and I'll get to that in a moment. For example, my church's purpose statement or mission statement is to love God and make his gospel known. Now, every church will have something to that effect, something similar like uh, reaching people far from God and bringing them to life in Christ or making the name of Christ famous. And there's a bunch out there. You can do a quick Google search and find a million different church mission statements. The good thing is, is you don't have to rewrite your church's purpose statement. All you need to do is refit it for your worship ministry. So like I said, my church's is to love God and make his gospel known. And so my purpose statement for my worship ministry is to love God and make his gospel known through music. That's the why. That's the reason my worship ministry exists. Now the second word is vision. And this is different in that it points to the end goal. It's the what or the where. You're thinking, you're sharing vision with your team. Where are you going? Where are you taking them? And when we're thinking about it as worship leaders, we're thinking, what do we want our worship ministry to look like? So for me, and I wrote mine down, I don't have it all memorized yet. My vision for my team, where I want them to go, where I want all of us to go, is that we want to cultivate environments where we are aware of God's presence and give an appropriate response to his love through an authentic expression of worship. Now, if I break those down quickly, we want to cultivate environments, meaning we are 
are responsible to set the tone of the room of each service, where we are aware of God's presence because that's where worship happens. We aren't just doing churchy things. Everything we do from the lights on stage to the song arrangements and song selection points to the fact and reminds us as a church, as a congregation, that God is here with us. And then it allows us to give an appropriate response. For me, I want my people's physical posture and emotions to match the themes that we're singing about that day. We may be calm and reflective if we are lamenting or repenting or praying or in reverence, or we may be loud and clapping because we're celebrating the resurrection. Either way, we need to have an appropriate response to what God has done for us. And lastly, we want to do this through an authentic expression of worship. We want to be ourselves. There's no reason trying to be someone else or to do something because the person next to us is doing it. We want this to be an authentic expression of what God is doing in our own hearts. And now we move over to the how. How are we going to do this? Now this is where the mission statement comes in. We know why we exist, we know where we are going, and now we need to know how we're gonna get there. For me right now, our mission is to do this through team building and resourcing and intentional gospel-centered song selection. These are the things that we're gonna do. We're gonna spend our time doing, putting our efforts and resources in to get to the main goal, to get to our vision, and ultimately satisfy our purpose. So for me as a worship leader, I'm spending most of my time and energy and resources in these things. The majority of my week is me building and resourcing my team and spending a lot of time in intentional song selection. Now, if you've been paying attention, you notice that there's kind of a rhythm to this purpose, vision, and mission. You know why we exist, you know where we are going, and you know how we're going to get there. So I wrote mine in a way where it kind of flows. And honestly, I might change and sharpen and tighten up some of this, but right now it says this. We exist to love God and make his gospel known through music by cultivating environments where we are aware of God's presence and give an appropriate response to his love through an authentic expression of worship, through building and resourcing worship teams and intentional gospel-centered song selection. Now, after you've done these three, then you can move into more specific things like your values. And this is how you want to implement your mission in your ministry. This is what may make your ministry different than someone else's. But if you can think through these three things in your worship ministry, this is how you can know you have impact. This is how you can measure success and failure and how you can assess your progress. Well, I hope this Quick Tip Tuesday video was helpful for you. Did I mention this was a Quick Tip Tuesday video? This was supposed to be a Quick Tip Tuesday video. I was just showing you what I've been working on. If it was helpful for you, would you please like the video and share it with someone that you think could benefit from it? Also, don't forget to let me know down in the comments what your mission or purpose or vision statement, whatever you have at your worship ministry, could you let me know down in the comments? I would love to hear them. Also, I was gonna say, and I forgot, I was gonna put it at the beginning of the video because most people click off and a lot of you have probably already clicked off by now. So I may try to put this at the beginning too somehow. But this week marks one year since I uploaded my first video on YouTube. I'm celebrating one year on YouTube. I can't believe it. And so I need your help with something. I'm planning on making a video doing a ask me anything video. If you would like to ask me a question on any topic, no matter what it is, please ask. I may not answer it, but please ask me the question. I would love to hear your answers. You can leave a comment also down below or you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm over there on Instagram at Hey Worship Leader. I'm also asking questions over there. If you don't follow me, go do that. You can leave a comment or DM me. DM me? Direct message me. Either way, let me know if you have a question for me. You could also answer in the uh, post that I did the other day on the community tab here on YouTube. I'm also thinking about doing a little giveaway to celebrate the one year, so be on the lookout for those details. And I think that's it. So have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.